At first, I didn't want to even think that I had PTSD. I thought about suicide. For two minutes, my mother was dying of cancer. And I was in a dark place. Skiing is the idea of it and not being able to do it if I'm dead. That's what saved me. That's, what, that's why I stopped thinking about suicide because I couldn't ski if I'm dead. There's 17 veterans every day that commit suicide. I grew up in upstate New York, rural upstate New York. My grades were horrible. I was running with the wrong crowd. I just didn't know what to do with my life. I was graduating high school and my mom's like, hey, why don't you talk to this army recruiter? You know, 25 years later, I guess, something about it I liked. That was the best decision in my life, was joining the army. Kosovo was like my you know, baptism by fire. We were in Vitina, Kosovo. We were on patrol right where we drove like two minutes ago. There was this giant like truck, like a U-Haul sized truck and the cargo bed was just like completely blasted away. I didn't have time to think like, wait a minute, I almost fricking died there. Like. If the last, if we just were driving a minute slower, Lou wouldn't be standing, Lou would be where that truck is. The second time I got shot at in Kosovo, we were in this tiny little church compound, of like talking to one of my squad leaders. Zoom, 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 zoom. The walls were shaking, like you can't even imagine how loud it is, the incoming. We didn't know what it was. The next day we went out to the field and we like looked where it landed in a farmer's field and we like looked, oh, there's the craters. Kosovo, six months, Afghanistan, six months, go to Iraq for a year. Deploy, come back, deploy, come back, deploy, come back. Yeah, four times I did that. One of the things that we're trained to look for is the theoretical most dangerous course of action. In high school, I'd never carried a gun. In college, I never carried a gun. But then I retired from the military and I'm finding myself in a restaurant thinking, ah, I should take the baby Glock, two magazines, sit with my back to the wall. I wanted to control not getting shot at anymore, which meant, you know, eliminate risk, eliminate danger. What are the courses of action that I need to do to not die? We just didn't know that 30 years later, we're gonna have hypertension or hypervigilance. There's so many veterans out there that I think are in a dark place. They're in a hole and they don't know how to reach out. I never wanted to reach out. I didn't even want to admit I was in a hole. Like PTSD, me? No, I don't have like. <laughs> but if you got shot at a bunch of times, there's a chance you do. I thought about suicide. For two minutes, my mother was dying of cancer. And I was in a dark place. I had this like, what? Wait a minute, Lou. You, you can't ski if you're dead. Whatever hole you're in, you're not in there permanently. And I, I thought for two minutes, like, this is the only way out. In Central Oregon, there's fly fishing, there's hor riding horses, there's skiing, go to Oregon Adaptive Sports. Learn how to ski. Ski with me at Oregon Adaptive Sports. There's hope out of the hole. You can get out of the hole.